number in the um, word problem that Angel just read? JFC? Two hundred forty-six. Two hundred forty-six. What? Levels. Oh. Games. Yes, video games. Awesome job. So I underlined that for you guys. I'm gonna underline it over here, circle it, so we know what we're talking about. And what's the other important number we're talking about in this problem? I'm gonna read it one more time. A GameStop display. Make sure you're listening. Shelf has video games stacked in three rows. There are 246 video games in each row. How many video games are on the shelf? What's the other important number, Hector? Three. Three, great job. Awesome job, Hector. Three. And what are we looking for? What's the question asking us to find? It's usually towards the end of the problem. I also underlined it over here. So I want everyone to look up here. Take a minute, take 30 seconds, and tell me what we're looking for. Because you have to do this on your own, so I want to make sure we're practicing together. Jay? numbers, honey, so I just want to see the numbers right now. Okay, okay. Jay's doing it with pictures and including numbers. But that is also, he's also doing the equation in there. Don't find the answer yet, honey. I don't want to, I, we're going to find the answer together, okay? Great job, Jay. Go ahead and sit down. So, Jay, why did you draw three three circles? Because it has three rows. Three rows, so we need three groups. Great job. We can also represent this as an equation like this. Three, these are three rows. Three rows times, and why did you include 246 in there, Jay? Huh? Why did you include 246? Because it has 246 in each. Yes, correct. It has 246 video games in each row. Awesome. So we're also going to practice doing these in place value blocks so we can see the arrays. When I say go, I'm going to ask you guys to come to the rug, not before I say go, and then I want you to walk properly, quietly, and wait for my directions, okay? So one, two, three, go. Come to the rug. First time listening for Hector. First time listening for Angel. Thank you. JSC join. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna show me 246 using place value blocks. We work with these Friday day. So I want one of our friends that was here Friday to remind us the place value. What is this? Is this, oh, remember to raise your hands? Angel? A hundred. This is a hundred place block, awesome. What is this one? Raise your hands. Jay? With ten. Ten, awesome. And watch. Last one, Hector, remember to raise your hands? One, great job, hon. So I'm gonna put these here. So listen to my directions carefully, okay? Because it has three parts. I'm gonna give you place value blocks. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw with the place value box the number 246. When you're done, you're gonna raise your thumbs up and wait for everyone in the rug to be finished. That's step two. When everyone has a thumbs up, you're gonna work together to do step three, which is organize them, all three of them together, and find a total answer by counting the place value blocks. Who can tell me what the first step was? What was the first step, Jay? Uh, to, um, I have the number. Is it about math or something else? What is it? In, for math, can I see a one? Um, for some things you will, honey, but for other things we're gonna work together, okay? Mm -hmm. But you, you definitely have some independent work. I like work. being fun. It's fun working together too, honey. Okay, but first, I want everyone to tell me the three steps. Because three steps is a lot. What was the first step? Angel? The first step is when you're... Okay. Jay, do you know what the first step was? You raise your hand. Um, okay, so that means we were listening. I'm going to repeat the steps again, okay? And make sure everyone has open ears to listen to my directions. First step is... I'm going to give you these materials, place value blocks, to draw 246 on the rug independently. Second step, you're going to raise your thumbs up when you're done and wait for everyone in the rug to be done together, okay? Once you're all are done, you're going to work together to add them and find the total answer. So remind me again, what's the first step? Jay? Um, we're gonna give us the, the cubes to get, to get the answer. To make 246 independently. <coughs> second part? Jay? Wait, second. I already have to answer. Okay. I'll give you a clue. It has to do with thumbs. Angel? You all to be done together. Yeah. Awesome. And last part, Jay. You, you have three or five Yes, to add them all together. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna pass these out. Remember the rules when working together. The expectations. We have to be kind to each other and use twelve-inch voices. Those are more, most important ones. And respect our classroom materials. These are from Teach for America. They're not mine, so we have to take good care of them. So go ahead and use these. Remember, where's the thousands? We don't need thousands, honey. Let's go ahead and get them. So remember the first step. Independently, show me 246. Uh, no, you need two.
doesn't matter. Only the shape matters, right? Thank you.